Hello and welcome to the Annie in the Middle blog. Today we have an interview with our North Street co-sponsor, Laura Duffy, a passionate book cover designer and former art director at Random House, dedicated to helping independent authors stand out in a crowded market. You can see her offerings and portfolio at www.lauraduffydesign.com. Laura, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights about book cover design. Thanks. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So let's get right down to it. What exactly are authors buying with the fee that they pay in terms of designer hours, activities, and consultations? So consultations, I offer um, anybody who reaches out to me, I offer them a complimentary consultation. And uh, when we when we do that, I'm happy to answer any questions they have, not only about the the cover design process, but the overall publishing process. And then we talk about my process, my cover design process. We talk about uh, you know any ideas that they have for the cover. I hunker down and I read the manuscript and I come up with my own ideas and I present them with at least three um, ideas, if not more. And then we, we go back and forth on, on what they think of those. And I, I give them an uh, overall sense of uh, what they can expect and what they can like the collaboration that's involved and just try to educate them a little bit in that design process. Um, and also at that when we're having that conversation, even if they're shopping around i'm happy to give them a lay of the land and let them know what they can expect when they're entering into this, because most of the people who come to me have never published before. So I give them a uh, kind of a heads up okay so you're going to focus on the cover um and then then down the line we're going to be publishing it so there's other there's the back and the flaps and you know making all these decisions about trim size and formats and stuff like that um but also because i've talked to a few other uh, professionals who do marketing and publicity um it, they've suggested that if an author can start thinking about doing those things early early on it's best um and i realize i kind of throw a lot at people when they first talk to me, but I think most of the time people come away uh, appreciating that, appreciating that I've given them a kind of a bird's eye view of what to expect. It's not just focusing on the cover, but it's focusing on the, the as much of the, the publishing process that I can tell them, talk to them. And each day I'm learning more and more about it so I can offer that knowledge to them. Yeah, it sounds like in a way, you're not just a book cover designer, for early career authors, you're almost like a liaison into that part of the book publishing process. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do because I've really felt like over, because I've been doing, I've been working with indie authors for for a few years now. And I, for many years, I just focused, I stayed in my lane, just focused on the cover, but I was starting to hear the, the needs, the questions, the all of the, the pain points. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna, to do a deep dive into this world and really offer what I can offer what I've learned along the way from working with these people. Um, and now that's what I do. It makes a lot of sense because I mean, if, if your clients are similar to winning writers clients, they're people who are very intelligent, have worked in different fields, know what it's like to be entering a field with a lot of unknowns. Yeah. And they're people who really appreciate context and knowledge. Right. Um, it's not enough to just like, you know, pay for the product and receive the product. What they're really looking for is a deeper understanding of how the process works. So it's wonderful that you can kind of uh, support them in that and almost be like a mentor to help them understand things from the inside rather than uh, you know, rather than being passive consumers. With that in mind and focusing on the idea of knowledge and context, um, I know that book cover design involves a lot of vocabulary that lay people have not necessarily come in contact with. So what are some cover design terms that authors can learn to make communication with you, the designer, a bit easier? Well, it's it's funny because the other day I was just having this conversation with an author um a really nice guy and he's just there was something about the the design that he just thought you know i i can't i can't tell you but i just you know and i said i do you want me to move the title up a little bit so it was simple words and we were laughing i said just up or down left or right <laughs> um things like that but i think that um one of the things that's confusing to me i think when people use the words illustration 
um, and design interchangeably. And I have to say, well, there's a design, but it you, you know could include an illustration or it could include a photograph. The design is the design, it's not an illustration. A lot of times I will uh, ask authors to uh, perhaps look at other, I give them homework to look at other books um, and, and pay attention to the fonts that they like uh, or fonts that they don't like, colors and fonts. Um, and then um, also to give me a sense of the mood of a book, the feel of a book, whether you want something to look uh, fun, um, especially with a memoir. A lot of times people, authors will say, you know, there's a lot of maybe heavy stuff in this book, but I want it to have a sense of joy, of uh, happiness. I don't want it to look dark or depressing or or if it's you know so there's just like um words to describe the mood of the book um you know whether it was serious uh heart rendering dramatic humorous hopeful dark truthful sassy yeah i guess one of your jobs is to translate from this really um word-based medium and the very word-based people that are your clients to the visual right. inter like interpretation of those things. Right. So, I mean, it must be interesting to come in contact with the various adjectives that they use, like, you know, vibrant, like what's a vibrant cover? What's a serious cover? What's a hopeful or heart-rending cover? Right. Um, you know, there are a lot of things that maybe jump to your mind visually uh, that wouldn't necessarily jump to the mind of the author. Right. Uh, who's more word-based, uh, you know, works in a more word-based medium. Um, are there ever any kind of misunderstandings between you and the author? Like maybe the author uses a certain vocabulary word that um, isn't necessarily like technically accurate or it can cause some misunderstandings. In terms of how the process works, at the beginning, um, when we're first talking about the cover, I don't expect the author to really know exactly what they want. Um, and that's that's where uh, coming in, you know, reading the book um, and coming up with my own ideas and then having a conversation. And, I've, and I'll say that, are you OK with that if we do it that way? I think the best way is once there's something in front of us that we can talk about, then we can move on to that second round. And either I've nailed it the first time, you're, you're happy, which happens, you know, which does happen. Or then we start to say, okay, this, you know, I don't know, I just, I'm not getting, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, okay, is it too dark? Is it the colors? Is it, you know, and then we start to, we start to, um, the, then that's where the education starts to take place. Because I'm not just, I'm not just doing a cover to make somebody happy. I'm putting a cover together that's going to sell, that's going to attract readers. That's the goal of this. It's an advertisement. It's a poster. My job, they're hiring me. They're paying me money to, to put something together that's really going to sell um, and stand out. Yeah, because, you know, I just want to remind all the viewers that you're not just someone who started um, outside the book industry and just decided they wanted to be a cover designer. You're the former art designer, or sorry, art director at Random House. Yeah. So you really do have a good idea on what is saleable, what kind of cover uh, represents the interior of a book without being too limiting or too general. Um, and really what will appeal to readers um, in a very in-depth way. So that's just a, a wonderful thing about working with a designer like you particularly, and not just any book cover designer, you really have that industry experience. You know, we also wanted to talk about how authors uh, can manage their own expectations about their book cover. I mean, I know from working with authors, uh, for example, in the Winning Writers Critique Program, that authors often have extremely specific and very strong views about how their book should be marketed, what their book is actually about, what they want readers to be thinking when they encounter their book, right, uh, right from the first time that they hear the title. And sometimes when I look at the book, I don't necessarily agree that that is really the main idea of the book or the best way that the book should, you know, kind of the hook of the book that should be given to people in order to make them understand what the book's all about. So it can be very delicate managing that kind of conversation where my experience is kind of meeting right. their expectations and their idea about their own creation. So how yeah. do you navigate that? And what what uh, advice do you have for writers uh, who are working with a book cover designer to kind of have realistic expectations about the process and the product. You know, a good author will will realize that they are too close to something. 
and they will let any designer they're working with, if they've, if they've looked for designers, they've looked at a designer's portfolio, let that person uh, do their job, be as creative as possible. And I think that um, that's, the, that's in any, with any person, with any professional, with any creative person, you'll get the best possible um, outcome that way. Um, and at the, you know, at the end of the day, I want an author to be happy with their cover, but I think it's the smartest thing an author can do. The, the other thing that I, I do suggest to authors is um, if they have a team around them, uh, find people in that group, not a whole lot, because if you have too many people giving you feedback, you'll go crazy, but find people, professionals who can give you really good, solid feedback, who can say, um, who could just be honest with you and, and, and guide you, um, because it is an investment and it's an important, um, you know, not just with the cover design, but with the title, with the copy, um, you know, you just want to make sure that your book isn't confusing in any way, that it really, ha that split second it takes for somebody to, to see it, to understand what it is, whether it's on Amazon or in a bookstore, um, or anywhere else it could be, um, there's just very little time for, for people to make a decision. That's usually what, I, what I'll tell people, I'll just guide them, find people, find a good team who can help you with that. Mm -hmm. You know, especially when you have someone working with you that has been the art director at Random House. I mean, you're, you know, you've got so much experience, you've got so much wisdom, and I think it's really wonderful how in the past few years, you've started to take that experience and wisdom and focus on indie authors who are just entering this very competitive, and you know very kind of comprehensive field for the first time they've got great ideas but they need someone like you to kind of hook them up with the um you know the marketing and visual realities that a book cover can offer and it's and there are other people out there i mean i always suggest to people to hire professionals put together a really good team there's lots of people out there editors marketing people who are have just as you know the similar experience and background that i have um, and if you gather those people together and you you make that investment, um, your life will be so much easier because this can be a very, very overwhelming process. Um, and when people first come to me, they're, you know, they're, they're feeling overwhelmed, but by the end of it, um, they, they've got that under their belt and it's, it's a celebration. So I'm really just realizing if people can find someone like you, it's so much better because I know that there are a lot of really great cover designers out there who kind of they stick to the cover you know there's not really that human element there's not really that like, like middle ground where they meet the author and they share kind of the emotional and psychological experience of creating yeah. the book cover rather than just treating the author as a consumer who's buying their product and they're just producing the product. Um, so, you know, thank you so much for having uh, so much heart for independent authors. Uh, there are a lot of independent authors out there who really need great covers and probably not enough people who are focused just on the indie author experience like you are with such a great background of experience uh, in the industry. So thank you so much for your time and insight. And uh, thank you writers for watching our interview. You can check out the website for Laura Duffy Design at lauraduffydesign.com. And also if you're a self-published or hybrid published author, I encourage you to consider submitting your work to our North Street Book Prize. Uh, you can find more information and submit your book at winningwriters.com slash award.